Namaste everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk about signs and synchronicities, specifically with regards to numbers that you may be intuitively guided to see um, alongside, you know, other types of signs such as animal signs and maybe cloud shapes and, you know, animal activity. There's all kinds. Okay. Um, now, all these numbers do have, these are just basic ones, um, they do have a light side and a shadow side, but I am missing the shadow side meanings for 9 11, 10 10, 11 11, 12 12, 12 34, and 22 22. Our higher selves and the divine communicates to us in subtle ways, and guiding us to see number synchronicities is one way of many. Our egos tend to be loud, and our souls are very quiet, so it's just a easy way for them to kind of go, hey, this means something. This is no by, by no means a complete list. There are countless apps for angel numbers that you can always access if you want to go more than just these basic numbers, okay? Uh, these are things that come to you, not ones you look for. Um, it's intuitively guided. You want your soul to kind of communicate to you, not your ego. <laughs> it's easy, easy to do that. Um, but in passing, if you happen to notice it, sync up with other things. That's uh, something your soul needs you to know. Okay. The reason our souls are quiet is because it's part of the, the of having the human experience. It is to exist with free will, and our souls don't want to impede that. But often our egos misinterpret messages in the environment around us from just being in a low vibrational frequency, such as fear, anger, insecurity, frustration, and the like. Um, again, this is not a complete list by any means, and you know if you know of any other meanings, go ahead and comment down below. Or if there's other numbers you want to add that you know can be common, um, I know this does change with energy shifts, so you know, this is just a good start. <clears throat> Um, feel free to take notes from the transcripts if you like. It's in the description box. Hopefully that setting is still on. I know there's been a lot of um, uploading issues, so we'll see what we can do. Everything from incorrect, auto-incorrect, to things like uh, it taking 20 minutes to load a 5-minute video. It's just little stuff like that. YouTube Studio has been interesting. Um, these are also known as spiritual numbers and angel numbers, so you can look that up as well. There's a lot more. So I'll go ahead and I'll start. My list is out of order. It's handwritten. The first one is 111. Um, in the light side, it's a manifestation number. Uh, regarding your intentions, your manifestations will are happening quickly. It's a sign of your intuition that you're following spirit and on the right path. Thoughts create reality, and it's also a reassurance or a warning. In the shadow side, um, it just basically means that you're being overly demanding. Um, next one is 222. It's a union number. It's also seeking balance and peace. Um, it's also known as the right one, right place and time, and to trust that you're on the right path. It's also a karma reminder. In the shadow side, it indicates a lack of self-care. 333, it's about new growth. Typically, it's arrival of good news. It indicates equilibrium to focus on mind, body, and spirit. It also alerts you that ascended masters are here to assist. In the shadow side, being too critical, fears around stability. 444 is about foundations. And then it's an indication you're on the right path. It's also a sign that spirit is protecting you and that your angels, specifically angels, archangels are guiding you. In the shadow side, it means you're pushing too hard or have a desire for acknowledgement. 555 is about strategy and making room and time to manifest. It's also about changes moving things around in the universe, and also transitions for the highest good. In the shadow side, creating drama when no need or a need for company. 
666 is about love and a return to purpose. Step back to rethink negative thoughts, no reality. Refocus your thoughts, reconnect spiritually. And the shadow side, the need to be seen at any cost. So that kind of gives you an indication of what wounding you can heal. All the shadow sides do. 777 is about spiritual growth, solitude, looking within, inner strength, releasing fear, and looking forward to the future. It's also a sign that luck is happening. In the shadow side, it's a need for abundance or monetary gain or feeling alone. 888 in the light side, earned wealth, abundance, balance with thoughts, actions, and universal harmony. Excuse me, I just ate. <laughs> also about success and, pro and progress as well. In the shadow side, it's an indication of being materialistic and putting others down. 999, nines are about completions or near completions. You're finishing something to unlock your next step. It's also an indication that new beginnings are on the way and to release what no longer serves. In the shadow side, you're clinging too much to the past. 911 means to stay positive, reinvent yourself after hardship, new doors opening. I don't have the shadow side to that one. I couldn't find it. <laughs> Go ahead, comment down below if you know it. 1010, something is completed, ended, and to work towards goals. Also, no shadow side, comment down below. 1111 is a sign of leveling up and a sign of manifestation happening. No shadow side, comment down below. <laughs> 1212 um, indicates that spirit is guiding you. Also to remind you to dream big and to trust the universe. No shadow side, do you know it? Comment down below. 1234, 1234 is a reminder of your potential and belief in self. It's also a sign that there might be something you need to let go of. In the shadow side, don't know it? Comment down below. <laughs> and last but not least is 2222, um, an indication to find balance. It's also a karma reminder and to trust the universe. I don't know the shadow side on that one either. Please comment down below if you know it. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Your signs and sinks. Um, just remember, follow yourself intuitively. It's a lot easier to do that. I tend to be seeing a lot of different numbers. And of course, everyone's got personal numbers as well. You know, like it may be your life path number or your birthday or something that's always common to you or special to you. Um, that also helps too. It's kind of an indication that whatever numbers after that or around that might mean whatever that means for you or for another person that you're around if that number is special to them. So there you go. Have a good one. Bye.